At first this looks like a casual downhill helmet. But if you look closer you can see a small handle on the backside. After a few minutes of figuring out what the helmet might is capable of, I found something out. Here's a second helmet inside. If there's one thing to say about a sweet protection arbitrator, you can't tell it's a half shell with a removable chin part. With huge excitement I did put on the helmet followed by the first disappointment. Putting on the helmet isn't as comfortable as I wished it to be and also it didn't feel like a regular downhill helmet. But actually this isn't what the helmet is supposed to be. The arbitrator is aiming for enduro riders who are striving for airy, light uphill ride and want to enjoy the full protection of a full visor helmet downhill. Let's do some details. On the outside a sharp and aggressive design is saying hello. Half shell and full visor both look pretty. All around air holes are placed which let the heat flow effective out of the helmet. Processing is very good. The carbon combination with the partly matte and glossy lacquered color looks fancy. The entire helmet weighs 980 grams. 530 gram for the half shell and 450 gram for the chin guard. The so called MIPS technology provides optimal protective effects. Rotational forces are absorbed and discharged on impact. Locked is the helmet with clip fasteners. Half shell and full visor use different closures. By turning wheeling on the back of the head, the size can be adjusted to the necessary extent. Furthermore, all pads in the helmet are changeable. The most interesting thing on the arbitrator should be the disconnect mechanism. It's pretty simple. Move the small triangle to the left until you can see a red dot. Then you push the handle with a bit of force down. Now you can remove the half shell easily. A little bit more tricky is reconnecting both parts. At first you push the notches of the half shell into the metal piece and then you press the half shell down. Now you can pull the hard to force lever back up again. For this task you might need more power than you thought. The first time I pulled off this task I really was afraid to break the helmet. Very unfortunate because this lowers the high quality impression I first had. With a loud crack both parts are connected. Now you can push the lock back to the right. Furthermore, you hide the chin strap of the half shell behind the ear cups and you are ready to go. Except the unpleasant feeling of pressing the handle, the mechanism is solved pretty well. And with a bit of practice it works reliable and fast. Well, all of this won't help if the helmet doesn't make the cut on the trail. For short uphill rides I didn't took the chin guard off. At least most of time, because the ventilation works well and the helmet feels very light. On one hand the air inlets on the front and sides of the chin guard helps absorbing the heat stagnation. On other hand the air ducts alongside the head are providing fresh wind. The chin pads don't push firmly on my chins because they got a bit of space in between. Putting the helmet on and off does not feel comfortable and squeezes the head unpleasant while doing so. Good thing this one doesn't have bigger chin pads. For longer uphill climbs I separated the helmet from chin guard and fixed it on my backpack or handlebar. This gained me maximum freedom, while still being protected. Reconnection on top and the party starts. The arbitrator feels light. The feeling can't keep up with a regular downhill helmet, but it's getting close. The long visor does not only look sexy, it actually prevents rain flooding your eyes. Heavier trail sections, the helmet keeps on its place. In summary, the helmet provides a feeling of comfort and security. I couldn't figure out negative things downhill. The helmet is pretty good. Though the disconnect mechanism has errors, which has to be improved in my opinion, and also putting helmet on and off isn't the most comfortable procedure on earth, you will get one solid, <coughs> two solid helmets for a pretty affordable price. The helmet keeps its promises. A well functioning hybrid for enduro riders. But to be honest, if you're searching for a downhill helmet, keep your eyes open for a more suitable helmet. And now let's come to my conclusion. I think the price of 299 euros is totally fair in my opinion. Um, I really like the edgy and sharp design of the helmet and the wearing comfort is pretty good for both uh, versions. Yeah, um, luckily and unluckily I had no crash uh, to date. So otherwise I might could have say something about the protective side of the helmet. Obviously the sweet protection arbitrator isn't a normal helmet. So let me know down in the comments what do you think about this helmet or about the helmets. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm pretty soaked about your opinion. Let me know down in the comments like I said and yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.